Wednesday morning, everybody. We are in St. Louis, Missouri. Kind of a rainy morning so far. Whoop. That's my blinker, uh, you know, my passenger side blinker. If I turn on my blinker over there and it senses something on that side, that little beeper goes off. Might be a car, might be a guardrail, you never know. But just showing you a little bit of uh, St. Louis as we go through here. I stopped last night on I-44 eastbound there at the Route 44 rest area. I tell you, that's a nice rest area. Lots of parking, nice angled spots. I wish more of the rest areas around the country were like that. You can almost always get a spot there. So there's some of downtown. You can see the arches there straight ahead, hopefully. But boy, I'm going to tell you. Don't be coming around this, this curve here very fast or you'll have a problem. Now, uh, Maverick has a, a yard over here in just a few miles in Madison, Illinois. I had thought I might make it there last night, but I didn't. I stopped way short of there. You know, I've got a delivery appointment for this, this order at 7 a.m. tomorrow in Columbus, Ohio. So there's really no, there was no reason for me to drive so far last night. Because I'll be able to get all the way to my customer if they had overnight parking. I could get there later today. But I've picked out, there's a Love's or a pilot, either one, probably within 10 miles of my customer there near uh, Columbus that I'm going to try to get to late this afternoon. Um, so, you know, I'll be able to get, get there today and then just drive in in the morning the last few miles to the customer. I wish they had overnight parking, but they don't. And I'm, you know, I, I've been to this place two or three times before. I'm familiar with it. It's kind of right down in town. They don't have any, any room for parking. And they don't even want you arriving early for your appointment. So, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't plan on trying to get there more than 30 or 40 minutes before your appointment. Because they really don't have any room. I mean, you basically just pull in to their their property and come through the gate and, and you're there. Oh, this road is rough. Oh. Woo! So anyway, I left out there uh, at the Route 44 rest area around 4.35 or so. I think that's when I got my clock back. And it's uh, almost 8 o'clock now. Still on Central Time. Although I will be converting over to Eastern Time later. Traffic was not too bad getting through St. Louis. I really thought it would be worse. I have felt that the traffic, you know, recently in some of the bigger cities has gotten worse because more people are headed back to the office uh, you know post lockdown phase so I kind of wish they were back working at home honestly it sure makes it easier on the traffic from my perspective Well, that's a shot of uh, early morning. 
Spring in St. Louis. You can see this sign I'm approaching here, uh, exit 4, Granite City, Fairmont City. That's the exit you would take if you wanted to get off and go to the Maverick uh, Madison, Illinois yard. And there's also a pilot right there. But I'm going to skip that today. I'm going to just keep on going and I'll probably stop sometime in the next couple hours and do my 30 minute break and fuel up. But right now I'm just, uh, I have no need to stop over there. Don't need a truck wash, don't need anything fixed on the truck. Although uh, this morning when I got up and was doing my inspection, I did find a corner trailer marker light that was had come unplugged. And, you know, I just had to get my flashlight and get up under there and plug it back in. It still works, but that's why you do inspections. You never know, you know, when a light will, might come unplugged or something. Hopefully that's all. All right, more later. Okay, everybody, Pet Boy Trucker back at you. Quick update for you. We are in Eastern Illinois on I-70, heading east. Approaching a way station, but I've got a bypass on my tablet. And we are about to cross the Illinois state line into Indiana. And we'll kind of go through Terre Haute which, you know, I made a delivery to uh, maybe about three weeks ago. We bring a lot of aluminum coils up here to Terre Haute from Malvern, Arkansas. And this is also where you change from Central Time to Eastern Time. All right, that was the state line right there. And my GPS is giving me a message that uh, we're entering the Eastern Time Zone. And it's still a rainy day, as you can see. I've got about four hours and 20 minutes, the GPS says, to get to my customer in Columbus, Ohio. Basically, it's a straight shot on 70 all the way over to Columbus, except um, I-70 going through Indianapolis is closed unless it's just reopened recently. It's been closed for gosh, probably over a year. So you have to go around Indianapolis. You can't just go straight through. Oh, getting a phone call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, quick update for you. I just kind of came around Indianapolis on 465 and got on 70 East. Still got about two and a half hours driving before I get to a place near Columbus, Ohio, where I'm going to stop. But uh, I sent my fleet manager, Paul, a message about uh, 30 minutes ago when I stopped at a rest area to do a load check and asked him for a pre-plan for tomorrow since you know I've got a delivery appointment of 7 a.m. Eastern time I just didn't want to get caught in a situation where I'm unloaded and ready to go uh, before the ALMs are, are in and sending out work assignments so uh, it didn't take very long at all and they sent me a pre-plan so I thought I'd share that with you so after I make this delivery in Columbus Ohio in the morning I'll be going to uh, Silver Grove Kentucky there is a uh, certainteed gypsum board they call it drywall whatever plant there that I've been to many times uh, it's been a probably been three months or so in fact the last time I was there I remember it was it was not a good experience they were having some trouble and were 
way back up. I mean, there was like 30 trucks in line to get loaded. Pretty bad, but usually it's it's not bad. So uh, we'll be getting a load of uh, gypsum board that goes to Herculaneum, Missouri. It's about a 400 mile trip. And uh, Silver Bro, Kentucky is kind of on the uh, southeast side of Cincinnati, just to give you an idea. So that's what's up. Okay, more later. Alright folks, here comes a sign that says, Ohio, find it here. Whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. Alright, so just across from Indiana into Ohio. I'm gonna try to drive for about another hour, hour and a half, and find me a place to shut her down. Only because I can't get to my customer today. They do not have overnight parking. Okay, just wanted to show you that we're in Ohio. Okay guys, welcome to Thursday morning. I'm here at my customer in Columbus, Ohio, Hirsch Vogel. Just wanted to show you the load real quick. I've got to be briefer this week with my videos because I only have this disc to record on. I thought I had a second one, but I don't. So what we have here is uh, four chains with pads, over center binders, and I put a belly wrap over the end and the middle and the front. So I'm gonna get all that off. There's two trucks in front of me and that's where you get unloaded, right over there. All right, and then after this, I'm headed to Silver Grove, Kentucky. Okay guys, let me try to get, get you a quick shot of him unloading there. He's got one of those sideways forklifts. He said he has to take each bundle off take it back there to the yard where he stores it and then turn it around so it's pointing a certain way so that's how it works all right see you in kentucky <laughs> 